You eat a banana and toss the peel. Out in the fields, farmers cut down the whole plant after harvest, and that giant trunk usually just thrown away. But wait, what if I told you that very trunk, something most people think is only good for pig feed, could actually be turned into fabric for clothing? That's right. Inside the layers of a banana stem are natural fibers. People have figured out how to extract them, spin them into yarn, and weave them into fabric. The result? A strong, breathable, fully biodegradable textile that, surprisingly, looks pretty stylish. Just imagine, today you're wearing a shirt made from banana fiber, and a few years later, it naturally returns to the soil to nourish a new banana tree. That's the perfect green fashion loop. So how does a mushy trunk transform into wearable clothes? Let's peel back the story. Here's the truth. Fashion is one of the dirtiest industries on earth. Cotton, soft and breathable, but a total water hog and pesticide addict. Polyester, basically plastic, and every wash sheds thousands of microplastics that end up in the ocean. Meanwhile, banana plants grow everywhere in the tropics. They don't need extra water or chemicals, and once the fruit is harvested, the stem is usually discarded. Billions of tons of biomass left to rot or burn every year. Turning that waste into fabric hits two birds with one stone. One, farmers earn extra income from what was once trash. Two, fashion gets a renewable, sustainable raw material. In other words, finding golden garbage, even replacing a small fraction of cotton or polyester with banana fiber could mean less pollution, less water wasted, and a fashion industry that feels a little less guilty. Banana fiber comes from the pseudostem, the thick layered stalk that looks like a giant onion. Peel back the layers and inside are long cellulose rich fibers naturally strong and perfect for spinning. Fun fact, banana fiber is tougher than bamboo, yet finer than hemp. Depending on which layer it's taken from, it can be coarse, great for rugs and ropes, or soft and silky, ideal for clothing. So bananas aren't just for smoothies or banana bread. The plant is basically a walking wardrobe if you know how to process it. Quick comparison, cotton, soft, breathable, but extremely thirsty. One t-shirt can take more than 2,600 liters of water. That's a drink no one can afford. Polyester, cheap, durable, wrinkle-free, but it's plastic. Wash it once and thousands of microfibers end up in rivers, fish eat them, and eventually we eat the fish. Yikes. Banana fiber needs almost no extra water, comes from farm waste, 100% biodegradable. Breathable like cotton, strong like hemp, and as eco-friendly as your favorite reusable tote bag. The catch? It's not yet mass produced like cotton or polyester, so it's still a newcomer. But imagine a wardrobe that doesn't make the earth pay the price. Cotton shrinks, polyester pollutes, but banana fabric, it goes back to nature. Banana fiber isn't new at all. In Japan, centuries ago, it was used to make traditional bashofu fabric. Artisans carefully extracted, spun, and wove it into elegant kimonos. Today, India, Nepal, and the Philippines are reviving the craft. Farmer cooperatives and sustainable fashion brands are turning discarded banana stems into high-value textiles. Even big-name fashion houses in Europe and the U.S. are starting to take notice. What began as a village tradition is now growing into a global movement. From Tokyo's runways to eco-boutiques in New York, Banana fiber is weaving its way into the future of fashion. So, how exactly does a soggy banana trunk transform into fabric you can wear? 
Let's break it down step by step. Step one, harvesting the stem. After fruiting, banana plants don't produce again. Farmers cut down the pseudo stem instead of leaving it to rot in the field. Step two, peeling the layers. The trunk is made of overlapping sheaths peeled one by one like a giant onion. Step three, fiber extraction, decortication, the key stage. Once done by hand with knives, now specialized decorticator machines are used. They press and scrape the stem to pull out long fibers while removing sap and pulp. Outer layers yield coarse, stiff fibers perfect for ropes and mats. Inner layers provide the fine, silky fibers used in textiles. Step 4. Washing and degumming. Fresh fibers are sticky with sap and starch, which can cause discoloration. They're washed in water, sometimes with mild alkali, to clean and soften them. Step five, drying. Clean fibers are sun dried for two to three days or machine dried to bring moisture below 10%. Proper drying ensures strength and color quality. Step six, spinning. Dried fibers are combed straight then spun into yarn, either by hand, like silk, or with spinning machines. Step seven, weaving, knitting. Pure banana yarn can be stiff, so it's often blended with cotton, silk, or hemp. The result ranges from silky smooth fabrics to sturdy canvas-like textiles. Step eight, finishing. The fabric is bleached, dyed, often with natural dyes, pressed and sometimes treated for wrinkle resistance or waterproofing. The final product, high quality textiles from what was once farm waste. Banana fiber isn't just for clothing. Coarser grades are perfect for ropes, mats, paper, even banknotes. The finer fibers, that's where fashion shines. Some designers blend banana with cotton or silk for luxury fabrics. Others use it in everyday sustainable wear. Beyond fashion, researchers are exploring banana fiber for car interiors, home decor, and even medical textiles. In short, whatever cotton can do, banana can do too, only greener. Next time you slip on a stylish jacket, imagine saying, yeah, this one's made from bananas. Cool, right? From what once seemed like farm waste, people have discovered a way to turn banana stems into sustainable, eco-friendly fabric. This story shows us something important. Solutions to fashion's biggest problems may lie in the most familiar places, like a lush banana field. So next time you touch a natural fiber garment, ask yourself, does this fabric only look good today, or does it also help protect tomorrow? If the answer is yes, then you're holding more than just clothing. You're holding a promise for a greener future. And there you have it, the journey of banana fiber from a discarded stem through human ingenuity and fiber technology into fabric that carries a message of circular living. If you too believe fashion can change the world, starting with the simplest of threads, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the word.